Alright. Hey, intrepid followers, subscribers, and watchers of my YouTube videos. Today I'm doing another reaction, and this one is to the Teen Titans. There's some pictures of them right here. The Teen Titans Judas Contract. It's an animated movie that's going to be coming out soon. Now, this animated movie is not for kids. So if you're thinking of watching it with your kids, I'd say, um, no one under the age of 13. Gets, that's just a rule of thumb, because a lot of the animated movies they make, they sometimes aren't for kids, but they're really great. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about watching this with your kids. Um, but here we go. We're going to do the trailer. Oh. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oh, death stroke. Whoa. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was awesome. I'm a big, big fan of the Teen Titans. I've been reading them since about 1985 just after the Crisis on Infinite Earths. Um, I do a vlog, I think, about that. If not, I'll do a vlog eventually. Um, this was cool because it's one of the most iconic storylines of the Teen Titans run. It has Terra, so it has Beast Boy, he's also gone by Changeling. Um, there's Nightwing, there's Speedy, there's Robin, there's Kid Flash, the Blue Beetle, Starfire, Raven, Terra. Oh, I already said Terra. <laughs> I, not that I like I think she's cooler than the other ones, but she is pretty cool. And what's really good is a lot of the same voices that do the voice acting for a lot of the Teen Titans characters throughout the animated shows are in this as well. So you're actually hearing some of the same people. So it actually brings some sort of like continuity, in my opinion, to the whole thing. And it's really great in that respect, too. Um, I would love to tell you about the story, seeing as that I know the story from the comic books. But if I tell you too much, it's going to, well, ruin it for you. Or as like they like to say now, to spoil it for you. I'll just tell you this. I'm going to read... Um, I'm going to read the synopsis from IMDB for you. It says, Tara Morgoth is a girl who has power over Earth and Stone. She's also more than she seems. Is the newest Teen Titan an ally or a threat? What are the, and what are the mercenary Deathstroke's plans for the Titans? That's what it says on IMDB. Um, I'll tell you this much more. So there's this, these bad people that want to get the Teen Titans and any teenager that has superpowers and use them for themselves. They're called, they're, they're called the Hive. And Deathstroke is hired by them to get the Teen Titans. So that's part of the su su summary. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah, that's what I think of the movie. I just, I just can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, I hope, I've, I've heard rumors that they're thinking of doing a live action Teen Titans. Uh, it would be really great. It would be really great if they used the original lineup, because the original lineup, they aren't appearing in any of the other movies. Well, they are, one of them is appearing in one of the TV shows, um, in the Flash TV show, but you know what? 
alternate timelines, multiple multiple ver versions, multiple Earths, so it can happen. Uh, yeah, I think the animation looks amazing. It's up to par with a lot of the things they did. Another, um, there's another movie that came out recently called Teen Titans versus the JLA. That was really cool too. Uh, and also, yeah, just the Warner Bros. animation is doing an amazing, amazing job. I just hope that the uh, live action movies can live up to what they're doing with the animation because it's amazing. And again, as I said earlier, if you're thinking, wow, my kids would love this, they love the Teen Titans Go. No, this is not the same as Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go is an animated TV series that's for kids under the age of 10 or actually 13. Uh, this animated movie and the other ones I just talked about, they are definitely for an older audience. There's some, there's not some violence, there's a lot of violence, a lot of violence, and there's a lot of death. Um, so with that, think about it before you decide to get this for your kids to have them watch it. If you want to watch it yourself as an adult and decide if this is something that's appropriate for your child. Uh, I don't want to say, you know, every child should see it, but eventually. I mean, I was reading comic books when I was 8 to 12 when these comic books came out. Um, but the difference is there's a grading scale, or at least there's a known belief that certain things aren't for everyone and so they, they do try in the comic books to be a little more smart about what they're putting out there for people to see. Well that's this reaction and I look forward to doing some more. If you didn't already know this I will be at the Emerald City Comic Con in two weeks. That's two weeks and I'll be filming doing some vlogging and I may be doing a um, video montage of cosplayers so if you are a cosplayer and you're watching this video and you're gonna be at Emerald City Comic Con look for me i will probably be wearing a shirt like this or another one or i might be dressed up myself yes i do do some cosplaying so some parts of the day i will be cosplaying and just look for me and uh, maybe i'll include you in my video either as part of the vlog or part of the video montage so thanks for watching bye